this video, I discuss the uncertain future of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise and also shed some light on the controversy behind the shutting down of School of Dragons, one of the biggest and oldest video games of the saga. Even some of the greatest franchises of all time, like Marvel, Star Wars and Indiana Jones, they have one movie or spin-off show that flopped despite their massive budgets. How to Train Your Dragon is not the case. This is a rare example of a trilogy where all three movies are regarded as animated masterpieces. Because they portray well-written characters and stories that teach us important life lessons about family, friendship and duty. How to Train Your Dragon resonates with the audiences because its protagonists face realistic struggles that every teenager and young adult has to face at some point in their lives, like acceptance, love and loss. It shows how people in their imperfection can still change for the better and develop healthy relationships with others. I was 10 years old when our grandma showed us how to train your dragon to me and my brother for the first time. I distinctly remember thinking after seeing it how cool it would be if dragons existed. Like many kids in our generation, we became attached to this series because we were growing alongside the coming of a journey of these characters. In the films, the characters were often portrayed as facing similar struggles as us watching because we were in the same age range. In the first film, for example, the kids are facing issues such as acceptance within their own village. But in the later movies, they are now fully grown young adults and they have bigger responsibilities to deal with, like ruling over their own village now. The reason why I think the golden age of this franchise is over is because the creators intentionally chose to end the trilogy with the characters becoming fully grown adults that had to make the tough decision of letting go of the dragons they spent their teenage years growing up with. The trilogy ends with our protagonists taking their place in charge of their clan with all the responsibilities their parents had to deal with before them like ruling, marriage and bearing children. Most of the fans in this franchise are also turning into adulthood and are less invested in this franchise because it was never meant to be for adults in the first place. The decision of making this story end instead of milking it to death, like in most other large Hollywood sagas, was very blunt and unusual. I argue that it is for the better as most of our generation that grew up with How to Train Your Dragon is too old now and making a ton of new movies for the sake of just making more money would dilute away the spirit and personality of this entire story. We have seen numerous cases like Star Wars and Marvel where the production of so many movies creates almost a saturation where the original meaning and spirit of what made them interesting in the first place is lost. While the films and the TV shows of this franchise are regarded by most as flawless, the same cannot be said for the video games. One of the most notable being School of Dragons, a game released in 2014 by the company Knowledge Adventure, which unfortunately is going to shut down forever this week, this Friday. The reason being that the game does not produce enough revenue in the last years due to the poor management choices of its CEO. I understand that the diehard fans are sad, but there's hope because a group of video game developers and modders have teamed up and are working on a fan game. This game will be loosely inspired on School of Dragons. It will not be monetized, so it only comes out of their passion for this franchise. I'm in no way affiliated to them and I'm simply advocating for their work because I think they deserve a shout out. If you're curious, you can go and check their Discord page. The link is in the description of my video. The video game will feature most dragon species from School of Dragon, but with improved graphics, improved gameplay mechanics, new quests and new places to explore. It will also be a multiplayer game, so you can interact with other fans of How to Train Your Dragon. If you have more questions, you can also ask them, and they usually reply quickly. They were very friendly in my case, so if you're curious, you should definitely give it a check out. With the recent news that a live action film may take place, 
the fate of this franchise is very difficult to predict. Either way, I want to wholeheartedly thank all of the people that worked hard to make the films, the show and the video games so memorable. The greatest lesson that How to Train Your Dragon teaches is that moving forward means letting go of certain aspects of our past, and that can be a painful process sometimes. Adulthood is about moving on, letting others choose their own path, or cherishing the beautiful memories made along the journey to get there.